most people know exactly what a sniper rifle is, or at least think they do. Tossing a scope on a gun doesn't make it a sniper rifle. Accuracy is a serious consideration, obviously, but on top of that, the gun needs to be capable and useful in tactical applications. Plenty of highly accurate rifles are built purely for competition and wouldn't last long in a war-torn country. These needs often require the rifle to be lightweight or at least easy to maneuver. It also should be a scoped rifle. Accuracy is important, as is effective range. Sniper rifles should reach out and touch the target with ease. This requires a full-powered rifle cartridge at a minimum. Most modern sniper rifles are pushing for larger, more capable cartridges to increase range and to deal with modern armor threats. We've listed the top 10 sniper rifles in the world and their key features, plus some things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 10. The U.S. Chaytech M200 Intervention Sniper Rifle This is a large-caliber weapon novelty of its time, developed in the 2000s in the United States. It was created to defeat the enemy at a distance for up to 2 kilometers. Magazine Rifle Reloading is performed in manual mode. A mechanical sight for weapons is not provided. There are only slats for placing optical sights of different designs and purposes. On the barrel, you can either fix a muzzle brake compensator or a silencer. The stock is made of fiberglass and it's adjustable in length. A butt pad made of polyurethane is attached to it. Serial production of the rifle has been carried out since 2001. Number 9. The Russian Orsis T5000 Sniper Rifle Designed by the private Russian company Prom Technology, the rifle's bolt is distinguished by longitudinal sliding. It is rotary and confidently locks into two combat stops in front. The barrel is made of stainless steel. The rifling is created using tapestry planing technology. The force required to lower the hook is adjustable within 600 to 900 grams or 1 to 1.5 kilograms. It all depends on the version of the trigger. The forearm has a special design for mounting bipods, and there's also brackets for the lens attachment for aiming before firing. The required stiffness of the rifle is provided by approximately 2 kilogram force for folding the butt. Number 8. The Sig Scharschustengewehr 3000. The Sig Scharschustengewehr 3000 is a sniper rifle. Even though it looks like a hunting rifle, it's a combat-oriented weapon. This sniper rifle was specially designed for law enforcement and military use. Production of the sniper rifle was carried out in Germany. The SSG 3000 is widely used by law enforcement forces in Europe and the United States. It's also used by a number of military users and special forces units from all over the world. The SSG 3000 sniper rifle is no longer produced, though. Chambered for a standard NATO 7.62 by 51 mm or 308 Winchester ammunition. This sniper rifle comes with a 457 mm or 18 inches or 597 mm or 23 and a half inch barrel. The look of the SSG 3000 changed throughout its production run due to the new stock. The shape of the stock is similar, though the updated model has some minor differences. The sniper rifle was designed to withstand very hard use and the weapon made its name for high quality, durability, and excellent accuracy. Number 7. The Blazer R93 Tactical The R93 Tactical is a German sniper rifle designed by Blazer Jagdwaffen. It's based on the Blazer R93 hunting rifle but has a detachable magazine, muzzle brake, and fully adjustable stock. Its production commenced in 1997. This weapon and its versions are used by a number of military special forces and law enforcement units from all over the world. The users of the Blazer R93 Tactical and its variants include Germany, Austria, Brazil, Bulgaria, France, Iceland, Malaysia, the Netherlands, Poland, Slovenia, Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. Production of all R93 series rifles was stopped in 2017 in favor to the new R8 bolt-action rifle. The Blazer R93 Tactical is the bolt-action rifle. However, this weapon has a straight pull-action design that was introduced in the Blazer R93 hunting rifle. This action is more comfortable to use and allows for faster follow-up shots compared to traditional bolt-action rifles. However, the design is much more complex. This weapon doesn't have a traditional receiver. Instead, it uses an aluminum receiver block located underneath the barrel and bolt assembly. 
The Blazer company made its name for its quality and tight machining tolerances. The Blazer R93 Tactical has a 600mm or 23.6 inch barrel. There's also a version with a 762mm or 30 inch barrel. The barrel of the Blazer R93 Tactical can be replaced within 60 seconds. This weapon is fed from detachable 5 round capacity magazines. When inserted, the magazines sit flush with the underside of the body. There's also an optional 10 round capacity magazine. This weapon has got a lightweight stock with fully adjustable cheek pieces. This weapon has got a vertical pistol grip, a provision to mount a monopod, and this sniper rifle overall is extremely accurate. It can deliver small groups with a sub 0.25 MOA accuracy. This weapon has an effective range of around 800 meters. Number 6. The Macmillan TAC-50 How could you make a list of the world's best sniper rifles without including the rifle used to make the longest kill shot in history? Canadian commandos with the Elite JTF-2 utilized the Macmillan TAC-50 to kill a member of ISIS at 3,540 meters, which equates to 2.2 miles in freedom units. The JTF-2 isn't the only elite force using the TAC-50. Snipers with the SEAL teams utilize the TAC-50 as the MK-15. The TAC-50 uses a bolt design and is considered a precision anti-material rifle. The finely tuned bolt action design squeezes the most accuracy possible out of a round designed for machine guns. It's exceptionally accurate and does typically outperform the Barrett M82 in that department. Weight-wise, it's still a beast at 26 pounds, but does feature a long 29-inch barrel. The barrel is a match-grade design that's made by renowned barrel company Leisure to precise standards. The barrel features fluting to decrease weight and improve cooling capabilities. In the end, we have a familiar booking and massive muzzle brake that certainly cuts down on the recoil. The TAC-50 comes with a fiberglass stock and a folding bipod. The stock can be adjusted for length and even removed for transport purposes. It's a mighty rifle that will help you send several hundred grains of lead downrange in a very accurate manner. Number 5. The Steyr Starschusen Gaviar 69 The SSG-69 is an Austrian sniper rifle. Externally, it resembles a hunting rifle, however, it was specifically designed as a weapon for military and law enforcement. Since the mid-1960s, the Austrian army was looking for an advanced sniper rifle to equip its own snipers with. The Steyr SSG-69 is a bolt-action weapon. It's chambered with the standard NATO 7.62x51mm or 308 Winchester cartridge. At the time of its introduction in the late 1960s, this weapon was different than most contemporary sniper rifles. The design of the SSG-69 was rather unique, and some of its features were cutting edge back in the late 60s. It used synthetic materials for lightweight and cold hammer-forged barrels for durability. Also, it had detachable magazines of unusual design. The SSG-69 sniper rifle is relatively compact as well. It comes with a 650mm or 25.6-inch barrel. Furthermore, it's a very light rifle. Modern equivalents with similar performance weigh nearly twice as much. Also, the SSG-69 proved to be a reliable and durable design. Number 4. The Remington 700 Tactical the Remington 700 came to be in 1962, and the initial design was for a sporting rifle. While the rifle started as a hunting rifle, the accuracy of the rifle quickly got the eye of numerous sniper rifle programs. The Remington 700 went on to become the M24, the M40, the M2010, and the MK13 sniper rifle systems. I'm certainly missing some overseas variants of the Remington 700 tactical, and likely missing some of the domestic sniper rifle variants as well. The Remington 700 series are a bolt-action rifle designed with the idea of producing a rifle that had tight bore and chamber tolerances and a very fast lock time. At the same time, the rifle needed to be capable of being easily mass-produced. Thus, the Remington 700 was born. The Remington 700 provided snipers with a lightweight but extremely accurate rifle. Accuracy on top of simplicity and capability became the strength of the Remington 700 and both short and long action models have seen military service. The Marine Corps uses the M40A7 in 7.62 NATO, as well as the MK13 Mod 7 in 300 Winchester Magnum. The Army labeled their Remington 700 the M24, which evolved from a simple 7.62 NATO bolt gun to the chassis-enhanced M2010 sniper rifle in 300 Winchester Magnum. The Remington 700 rifles have been used by numerous police forces including LAPD and NYPD SWAT. While the Remington 700 might be showing its age, the weapon perseveres and adapts as necessary for the next mission set. Number 3. The Arctic Warfare Magnum 
The Arctic Warfare Magnum is a British sniper rifle. It's a product of Accuracy International Company. It's a more powerful version of the Arctic Warfare sniper rifle designed to use larger and more powerful Magnum-type cartridges. The word Magnum in the designation denotes the Magnum chambering. There are two main versions of this weapon, chambered for 300 Winchester Magnum and 338 Lapua Magnum ammunition. The weapon was adopted in 1996. The version chambered for 300 Winchester Magnum is in service in the Czech Republic, Germany, locally designated as the G22, and some other countries. Another version, chambered for 338 Lapua Magnum, was adopted by at least 14 countries, including Ireland, Israel, Italy, Malaysia, the Netherlands, Norway, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. This sniper rifle saw action during wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's a bolt-action sniper rifle. Generally, the Arctic Warfare Magnum is similar to the original Arctic Warfare sniper rifle but has a longer bolt to accommodate the larger and more powerful Magnum-type ammunition. This weapon has a stainless steel 660mm or 26-inch barrel. It's fed from detachable 5-round capacity magazines as well. Number 2. The British L96A1 Sniper Rifle This rifle is a model of precision and lethal power. It was created in the UK in 1982 and to this day is on the balance of arms of the Royal Army. From this rifle, a world record was set for range of defeat of the enemy in targeted shooting at 2,475 meters. The approximate striking range of firing is 1.5 kilometers. The market value of the flagship rifle is about $10,000, but this is not much for weapons of this class. Coming in at number one, the Barrett MRAD. The Barrett MRAD struck gold with both the United States Army and the Marine Corps. The MRAD, or multi-role adaptive design, originally came to be due to the SOCOM Precision Sniper Rifle Program. Barrett's have always been up for producing something innovative, capable, and accurate, and sniper rifles are their bread and butter. The MRAD's got a lot of claims to fame, but the main feature that drew the gun so much attention is the ability to easily swap calibers. Users can swap calibers by removing two torque screws, changing the bolt face, and possibly a magazine change. Each barrel has a factory headspace bolt face that covers a major problem with quick caliber conversions. For the Marine Corps and Army, the ability to swap between 338 Lapua Magnum and 300 Winchester Magnum and the classic 7.62 NATO makes the MRAD missionally and logistically adaptable. Snipers will be armed with a single rifle that can be used in a multitude of missions around the world. The MRAD uses a bolt-action design paired with an externally modern chassis system. This accommodates a wide variety of optics, including thermal and night vision clip-ons that sit on the front of your traditional rifle optic. Users can outfit the MRAD with every possible gizmo and gadget to make it a modern tactical sniper rifle. From high-powered IR lasers to simple bipods, the MRAD can accept it all. On the opposite side of the gun, the user-adjustable stock allows for maximum comfort and compatibility with various shooter sizes. An adjustable cheek rest allows the user to choose between different height mounts and different optic types. So that wraps up our list of best sniper rifles in the world. We hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as we always appreciate that. Also, feel free to leave a comment, give suggestions for future videos, or ask any questions you may have. We love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to our channel, welcome to the All About Survival family. We've got a ton more videos coming your way. Till then, stay safe, Stay awesome, and I'll see you on the next video.